The first thing you notice in a factory layout is the presence of the floor. You'll place your factory assets using the floor as the default ground plane. The floor provides gravity, so anything you drag and drop on it will automatically land upright. This eliminates the need for you to understand 3D paradigms and figure out how to mate and align your components. To customize the floor, you can use the Floor Grid Settings command. This dialog box provides control settings for visibility, size, and display styles. You can also specify and control the grid settings. As an alternative to entering a numeric floor size, you could use the Resize Floor command to manually change the size of the floor by dragging on the available grips. In most cases, designers need to place reference lines on the factory floor to facilitate the placement of machines and equipment. Autodesk Factory Design Suite allows users to insert large 2D floor drawings from AutoCAD, painting necessary reference lines directly on the factory floor. This is accomplished using the Add DWG Overlay command located on the Layout Tools panel. This command allows users to navigate and select the desired AutoCAD drawing file. The file is quickly inserted into the layout design. Right-clicking on the Drawing Overlay node in the Assembly browser provides access to drawing display options such as Update, Reposition, and Layer Settings. The DWG overlay is associative to the original AutoCAD drawing. If changes are made, the overlay will update on demand. Provided with Autodesk Factory Design Suite is a large library of predefined factory assets. The Asset Browser provides access to these components. By double-clicking on the folders in the browser, you can navigate to any of the assets, such as conveyors, processing or safety equipment, or even furniture. The browser enables you to easily search and easily switch the unit systems to efficiently sort through all the assets. You can also develop your own user assets and access them from the Asset Browser. The Properties Browser lists all the current parameter values set for a selected parameterized asset. The values that are listed include both model and miscellaneous iProperty parameters. Any of the parameters can be edited in this browser to modify the selected asset. The Properties Browser also enables you to alphabetize, refresh, or update the selected component. In this video tutorial, we've discussed the Autodesk Factory Design Suite user interface. We also took the first step in creating a factory layout by inserting an AutoCAD drawing overlay as reference lines onto our factory floor. The purpose-built factory design utility makes it really easy for a layout user to reference an existing 2D drawing in the layout environment and start building a 3D visual layout without having the knowledge or technical know-how of how a 3D design system works.